Today, we are going to balance the equation of SO3, which will yield or produce SO2 plus O2. Okay, so I already wrote out our little balancing chart here, which is going to help us out greatly, and the elements that I see on both the left and the right side. Let's write how many of each we have, and then let's start the balancing. So let's start on the left side. For sulfur, I only have one, so I have one sulfur, and this three tells me that I have three oxygens. Okay. On the right-hand side, I see that I have a sulfur, right? There's no subscript, so that means one. But then for the oxygen, just be careful. I see oxygen here and here. So I have to literally add the two numbers together, right? There's a plus sign here. So two oxygens plus two more oxygens is a total of four oxygens. Now, balance the ones that are easier to balance, but this one is a little trick. Never balance the ones or never balance the elements that are by themselves. Always save those for last because those are the easiest to balance at the end of the day. But with sulfur, it looks like they're already balanced. One sulfur on one side and one sulfur on the other, but the oxygens are different. So what I'm going to do is instead of having one sulfur and one sulfur, let's jack up the number, right? I'm going to put a coefficient in front of this compound that has the sulfur and I'm going to put a coefficient in front of this number so that the sulfurs can now, you know, be jacked up to the next number. Now, instead of them being both 1, I can get them to being both 2. This is just guessing and checking. 1 times what will get me to 2? Yeah, 1 times 2. And the number that I say is the coefficient that goes in the front. So in this case, I'm going to put a 2 in front of here. And the same thing that goes for the sulfur on this side. 1 times 2 will get me 2. This number that I stated is the number that goes in the front. So now I have to change my sulfur numbers. So here I now have two sulfurs. So cancel that out, put a 2 here. But you got to be fair. If you put a coefficient in front of a compound, it has to get changed through all the elements in that compound. So I now have 2 times 3. I now have 6 total oxygens. So I'm going to get rid of that 3 and put a 6. Now let's do it for this one. I have the two sulfurs. That's why I put a coefficient 2 in front of there. But now i got to be fair, right? I have to multiply 2 times 2. So that's 4 oxygen plus there are 2 oxygen over here. 4 plus 2 is 6. So my new oxygen amount is not four anymore, but six. And look at that, guys. Everything is balanced. Two sulfurs on the left and the right side, two, uh, six oxygens on the left and the right side. So you are done. So the final balance equation is two SO3s, which will yield two SO2s plus one O2. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments, all right? Good luck on your future tests or quizzes, and let's keep studying hard, okay? See you later. Bye-bye.